Hey everyone, I wanted to go over the new and exciting news that we got for Hatsune Miku Project Diva Mega Mix Plus, which is available on PC via Steam. And today I want to talk about one of the best mods that's available out there uh, right now, just early days when it comes to the modding scene for this game. But I think it's going to be one of those game changer type of mods that you certainly need to get your hands on if you have the ability to be able to make the best use of it. And that is the fact that we now have the option to enable 120 frames per second on this game. Remember that naturally the game just simply runs at 60 frames per second, but there are now different ways for you to be able to unlock the ability to be able to play at 120 frames. This is really gonna just make every note that's flying onto the screen, which of course is literally the gameplay of this franchise, just an extremely much more smoother experience. So first and foremost, I need to give a huge shout out to MNM on the Project Diva modding Discord and also King Crouch. So originally King Crouch made a cheat engine table, which essentially enabled 120 frames per second, but you need a cheat engine. So what MNM decided to do was take some of that information and turn that into a straight up Steam mod that's only going to be available if you decide to put it in the folder and it's unavailable without the need of Cheat Engine. So there's going to be links in the description for both of their um, downloads. Uh, you are going to be able to get directly through them. And more importantly, I'm going to try to explain to you guys how to be able to get that into the game thanks to GamePetty.com. Huge shout out to them as well. Link in the description below for their article where they put up a very basic and interesting tutorial just explaining how to be able to get this to work on PC. It's three very simple steps. And first and foremost, step number one, all you need to do is to locate your game's directory. It's basically easy as the images that you're seeing on the screen should be able to say. You go to your Steam library, you right click on the game and then select manage and find the browse local files option. That should be the third one down to the list. Step two is actually installing the mod loader uh, add-on from GitHub. So the huge shout out to Skith uh, for basically making this available. You are gonna have the GitHub way to download it, but there's also gonna be a Discord app download as well on the article. Again, link in the description below for you guys to be able to download everything you need is going to be clearly labeled right there and all you pretty much have to do is download the latest version for that once you do you download that zip folder through either 7-zip winrar windows explorer whatever it is that you need to open uh zipped files make sure you get everything that's available there in the directory and copy it over to the main folder file once you have that done, there's a pretty clear image right there. You should have the crash report, the mods, the uninstall, config, dispute, diva DLC 00, CPK, the region CPK, diva main, diva main region CPK, diva mega mix X, which is of course the launcher, the install, the Steam app 64, and the app ID. Once you have all that done, which again, is just a copy and paste job, nothing too complicated. Once you have that done, then you're almost pretty much set. Uh, every single mod that you're gonna be downloading to this specific game, you're gonna be dropping into the mod folder directly. So all you pretty much have to do is go into the Google Drive, which again, this is the M&M's uh, download that you're gonna have there. There's gonna be a link in the article as well, but of course, I'm gonna leave a link in the, in the video below as well for you to have that direct access to that as well. And you are basically just gonna drop that folder that you download into the mod file, you're going to have the high refresh rate and the restore cut songs. If you decide to do that, that is another step. I'm not going to get into that in this specific video, but you are going to have pretty much the high refresh rate option right there. You do have an option to go into the configure mod and basically tweak with it. If you don't necessarily want 120 or vsync enabled, I probably would just suggest to not even bother with that. You don't need to do any of that. Uh, if you, for some reason, want lower frame rates, like 100 or 90 for whatever reason maybe you have a 74 hertz display and you just want to cap it at that you can certainly do that uh, maybe 90 hertz and you can certainly do that but 120 if you have a tv that's enabled it or if you have a monitor that enables that automatically should be working with vsync no problems whatsoever now on my end i do have a 3080 laptop i have a lenovo legion 5 pro this thing is a beast it just destroys this game is not everything is enabled on highest settings is not a problem this game is not necessarily that much of a performance hog to begin with and everything runs smoothly at 120 frames with a couple of caveats 
you will notice that kind of like whenever you are dealing with uh, uh, shader renditions, when it comes to like uh, Unreal Engine 4, these games love to have issues when it comes to rendering um, like shaders for the very first time. Uh, if you know anything about Elden Ring on PC, you should know kind of like what I'm referring to. Ultimately, whenever you play a song for the first time, you might notice that there's a, note, a little bit of like a hitch or a stutter for maybe a couple of times in the song. Don't necessarily worry about that too much. The next time you play that song again, it'll play flawlessly. You'll never have that problem again. For whatever reason, the first time that you play a song, sometimes you'll notice a micro stutter, which again, at 120 frames per second, you are definitely going to notice that as the frames kind of just slow down or just stop all together and then quickly jump because you're missing frames because everything is just happening so fast. So there is that chance of happening. I've only seen it happen three specific times and I cannot necessarily pinpoint if it's like a high shader song or maybe it's just a background situation but it only happens for like a microsecond you'll notice it because again the frame rate is so high and then it just kind of like fixes it so instantly but if you're going for a perfect run you might miss that again second time you do that song again it'll run flawlessly no problem whatsoever so i'm thinking that it has to do with shader compilations but you know i don't necessarily know it could be that with that said, though, playing at 120 frames, it is just a godsend when it comes to this game. The notes flying on the screen in a more like straight format where you're basically not necessarily seeing them skip as much because everything is just rendering so much faster. It is just on another level. Ultimately, I play with the DualSense controller. I've always been playing even on the Nintendo Switch. I had a, you know, adapter to play with a DualSense controller and the game just felt very good playing in that way. But again, it's 60 frames and with some minor hitching uh, on PlayStation 4. Now with the PS5 uh, played it at 60. You can't go higher than that. But now on PC with the option of 120 frames, it is just another game. It feels so smooth. It feels so responsive. And I can't stress enough just how good it is. So, of course, I'm going to leave, once again, a link in the description below for everything. Huge shout-outs to Eminem for uh, making this available as well. Uh, huge shout-out, of course, to King Crouch, who made the official uh, Cheat Table Engine mod as well. And, of course, GamePetty.com. Huge shout-out to them for their very quick tutorial, which, again, is the easiest way for you guys to be able to get this to work on the game, you are not breaking any rules. Steam is not gonna really gonna give you a problem. The Nouveau has nothing to do with this. So you're just making this sure that this is enabled at 120 frames. And as long as you have a good TV that gives you 120 frames or a monitor with 120, you should be good to go. It doesn't matter what resolution you run the game at, what settings you have set up, what controller you're using, doesn't make any difference whatsoever. 120 frames is just a godsend for this franchise. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.